Good morning everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video. It is a gorgeous day here in Portugal and I'm just walking down to the animals to let them out. We've been up to a lot of stuff. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's now massive gaps where we've cleared loads of the dead trees. So I'm going to show you that. And that's not finished. We've still got a lot more to do. We've got John and Luca in to help with Theo today. So having three people makes a massive difference. They're just on their way up now. I'm heading down to the animals and I wanted to also say thank you so much everyone for all of your well wishes for Theo. We're still waiting to hear back from the doctor for his last set of tests and what's going on with that. He's going to be working mainly on the tractor today so hopefully that will allow his body to not be doing too much physical work. Mental, yes, because he'd be using all of the controls and everything, but not having to do too much movement because he does need to rest. But this is the time of year where you really can't rest. <laughs> so I'm just heading down to the animals now to let them out. The cats are coming with me as well. Don't know if you can see them. My faithful companions, always with me. So yeah. Let's get to it. Another day on Miracle Mountain. Fernando's seen something that my human eyes cannot see. But now it's time to go off into the forest. You can see where I walk every day. <laughs> Amazing. And it's weird actually, because we've had the hogs come through, the wild boar. And you can see they've not touched my path, but they've been on either side, which I find quite interesting. Good morning, my lovelies. I need to pick up this pan that I left here yesterday. There's a tiny weenie slug in it. Hello, chicka. <laughs> oh, okay. That was dramatic, Patty. Is Sage broody? Because this is the second day I thought she was laying eggs and she's not out. Hello. I know you guys think there's something in here. There's not, it's empty. It's empty from yesterday. Good morning, goaty girlies. So walking through here along the fencing, we're nearly at the area where all the trees have been chopped down and you will just see the actual amount of clearance that has been done. It's unreal. In fact, you can see from here it starts. Fernando is walking along one of the old trees. So from here, any dead trees have been chopped down and it is so much clearer. It's so open now. Oh, there they are. Hello, good morning. Hello, <laughs> this <laughs> so down here we've got loads of the debris and that's what they're working on today clearing it we've got some nice logs this is going to need burning that's the burn pile already these are the bits that have all been cut it's pretty intense and this tree oh it's so sad it is completely dead but that's another one for another day <laughs> It's really good to see it all cleared out. All of this. Have you ever wondered what's going on with your metabolism as you start the day? Well, actually I start every single day by breathing into my lumen, which reads my metabolism. So if I'm having a hard time sleeping or I'm really stressed, or even when I still had periods and was going through different stages of my cycle, that can increase carb burn, which in turn affects my metabolism. But what is lumen? It's the world's first handheld metabolic coach by measuring your metabolism through your breath. And on the app, it lets you know if you're burning fat or carbs, giving you a tailored guidance to improve your nutrition, workouts, sleep, and even stress management. Ever since my health issues, it was a wake up call to treat my body the best that I possibly can. And with Lumin, it's really easy to track what's going on with my metabolic health. After I've eaten, I take another breath to see how my body is processing the food that I've eaten. Ideally, I want to see a big jump into the carb burn because that means my body is using the carbs that I've just eaten right away. 
Lumen measures your metabolic flexibility, which is basically your body's ability to efficiently switch between different fuel sources like carbs and fats. The more flexible, the better your health and well-being, the less likely you are to end up with a chronic illness like type 2 diabetes or cardiovascular disease. So to get your free metabolic health score, go to go.lumen.me forward slash indie or just click the link in our description and you'll also get $100 off Lumen and start improving your health today. So I'm just warming up my chainsaw in the background, but yesterday was a monumental day. I cut between 30 and 40 big trees. We're going to have plenty of firewood for next winter and probably the winter after that. But what it's done is it's opened up a big vista that we can see through the windows of our house. It's really nice. It's sad because we obviously love them trees. They were beautiful evergreens, so they stayed green all year round, but they were completely burnt from the fire and they had to go. Okay, I'm wisp I'm talking low because I just heard a deer barking. I'm out with the animals, taking the goats for a walk, and there's a deer barking. And you might be like, how do you know it's a deer and not a dog? It just sounds like a deer. <laughs> you know what? I'll see if I can find some sort of audio to put on so you can hear um, what it sounds like, because I doubt I'm gonna pick it up. But it would be pretty cool if a deer did come trying past and I got on camera. <laughs> We've been hearing them loads recently. I think it must be like that time of year for the, a lot of deer activity. And uh, when we first moved here, we'd see them all the time, but obviously they know we live here now, so they're not quite as visible, but they're definitely still here. I see their scat poo 
in lots of places, especially further in the forest, and we do hear them. So let's go for a walk with the goats. Maybe we'll see a deer. So the deer did sound like it was coming from just up this way, uh, which is where I generally do hear the deer. And I've done a few creeping moments before, but never actually spotted them. So if there is a deer, it would have heard me by now because I'm not talking that quietly. Other oh, girls have followed me. Good girls. Margot's shedding her undercoat. <laughs> She's so fluffy, it's so cute. Hey, sweet girl. Hey, daughters. You got food hanging out your mouth, Marge. Sky, you've got a whole forest and you're putting your head through the fence. <laughs> The goats are so fun to walk. I've stopped talking quietly because the deer is gone or it's being quiet and doesn't want me to find it. So that's fine. Uh, we're going to go down here. I think this is, I'll show you in a sec, the dry stream bed. So it's a seasonal stream. And when we get loads of heavy rain, it always runs, which is beautiful. When the mad flooding happened in um, September 2022, when the mad flooding happened in September 2022, this was raging. I'd never seen it like this. It was literally like, it was like wild water rapids. It was unreal. Here it is. So this is the, uh, the dry stream, dry riverbed whatever you want to kill it and it's very lush down here at the moment lots of greenery which the goats will be happy with won't you girls come on come on Marge come on Sky hello Gingy Gingy's found me she's joined the walk hello she absolutely loves scratching her claws on the trees and climbing the trees don't you Sweet girl. Hello, sweet Gingy. She's a bit more cautious of the goats than Fernando. Hello, sweet Gingy. Hello, sweet Gingy. <laughs> they absolutely love it. They're in their element. And if I could zoom in on the GoPro, you'd see Marge has a mouthful of grass. <laughs> Not even grass now, just weeds. Oh, I'm going to see if I can encourage them to follow me down towards the... Oh, I think this is mainly cherries, but it's like a cherry slash apple orchard. A little bit further down because the grass is really long here and I don't know if I've seen them eating this type of grass. They might not be interested in it, but are they following me? No, they are happy there, but I will persist. Come on, girlies! Goaties! Here they are. Mouthfuls of branch. Matilda had a little... Oh, hello! Hello! It's Fernando! Hello, Fernando! Very vocal. Oh, what was that on your head? What is that on your head? Oh, you've got a bug on your head. Oh, it just fell off. It wasn't a tick. Unless it fell into your ear. No, it didn't. <laughs> it's lovely long grass, isn't it? Oh, you're eating the grass. And the goats are loving it. It's so tall now. The best lawnmowers you could ask for. <laughs> They're a lot more entertaining than a, a lawnmower. Oh, that was so cute. They're sniffing each other's faces. Amazing. Fernando, you have grown so much. Literal no attacking to Gingy Den. That was so cute. I'm proud of you. Oh, and now I, th <laughs> I think he's going to launch on her. Three, two, one. Ding. <laughs> oh, Gingy. 
Are you enjoying that oak tree, Sky? Wonderful job. You're doing amazing. You're all doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Good morning, it is a new day, it is a beautiful day, the sun is shining and I'm just waiting for a guy who's coming to help me transport the tractor over to our off-grid property so I can get lots of work done over there with the tractor, so that's exciting. I'm just on my way down to the workshop but I don't know if you can hear the frogs because they kind of stopped talking when I come close but I'm just on the edge of the lake and in this lake there are thousands of frogs and at night and in the day as well they go absolutely crazy. So my knight in shining armour has arrived with an eight metre long trailer and 
probably some of the best reversing skills of a trailer I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, thank you so much for helping me out. I'm really happy that he made it up here with the trailer because it's pretty sketchy, especially for an eight metre long trailer, but that's good to know for the future that something of that size articulated can actually get up here. Right now, I'm just at the workshop. I'm gonna grab the tractor and drive it onto the back. It's so straightforward with a tipper trailer. <laughs> So the tractor is now here at our other property that we're going to be selling and it's good because i got so much work to be getting on with over here over the next probably month and a half, two months before it goes on the market for sale. So this is going to make my life so much easier. And the guy who helped us move it over is such a legend, amazing driver. Seeing him like maneuver that eight metre long trailer was just amazing i'm not bad at reversing trailers myself but i've never towed an eight meter long one but he's such a nice guy and also he said he was a subscriber he's watched all of our videos and also he is actually going to come over and look at my other trailer that i can actually get my digger onto so then i can bring that over here so such a nice guy very helpful a pleasure to hang out with and we're here let me show you what I'm going to be using it for. So you can probably see right there, I've brought over the grapple, but also the front bucket. And at the rear end, I've got the brush cutter. So that obviously means that I can cut all of the grass. If there's any brush left over that I've missed, I can churn it up with the big spinning chain brush cutter that's attached to the tractor. I've got the front bucket that I can move sand and gravel. I've got the grapple that I can pick up stones and logs and anything else that I need to pick up. So it really is going to be useful. This is just one of the many piles of stone that I've got lying around. There's all sorts of varieties. It's all granite, really nice. And what I'm thinking to do is move all of this, especially these big ones there. And I'm gonna make a driveway to the back of the house, which will be really nice. And then it will all be graveled. And you can see behind me, we've got the caravan, which is gonna come over to Miracle Mountain with us at some point, but I can move it around the property when I'm mowing the grass, so it's not in the way with the tractor. I just need to remember to bring the bull hitch over from Miracle Mountain. And you can see here, I've essentially got three big piles of charcoal left over, some burning that I did. So I can use the front bucket, scoop that up and move it 
somewhere more pleasant and out the way but look at these beautiful big pine trees right there really nice i'm excited to bring you guys along for the journey look at these wildflowers there's wildflowers absolutely everywhere it's just really is blooming and you can see just in front of the tractor this massive pile of rubble that's going to be moved out the way when I managed to get the digger out here I'm basically going to use it to level off a bit of an area just down here just in front so I can dig a big hole level all that into it and use it as hardcore so there we have it we have come to the end of another video thanks for sticking around and watching it if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe like this video share it with anyone you think might like it as well but i know i keep saying it in this video but things are exciting like there's a lot gonna happen yeah. over the next couple of months so there make is. sure you stay tuned and we'll catch you on the next one